to the nation's capital. We mentioned yesterday on the report, Senator Hillary Clinton has now released a new campaign commercial where she's reaching out to America. But my take on that commercial is quite different from my colleague April Ryan's take on it. She's my Washington insider, as you well know, from American Urban Radio Networks. Let me just bring April into this discussion right now uh, because we talked about this. And April, just bear with me for the sake yes. of the viewers because okay. the commercial uh, basically is reaching out to supposedly to, to all of America and it's called Invisible. Uh, my problem with it is that there was no diversity represented uh, in that commercial, but you say it's specifically tailored to a certain group in a certain place, correct? Iowans, yes. Okay, yes. In, in, in Iowans, because it shows uh, the people of, of, of Iowa. Yes. L the, the proof is in the pudding. And we want to roll the commercial. Yes. And I'm going to let everyone yes. take a look at it. And then we're going to come back and talk about this. And as you're watching this commercial, you're going to notice that you don't see any people of color or any diversity represented in this commercial. Take one a look person, at it. Art, one person. All right, we'll take a look. <laughs> okay. As I travel around America, I hear from so many people who feel like they're just invisible to their government. Hillary Clinton has spent her life standing up for people others don't see. You know, if you're a family that is struggling and you don't have health care, well, you are invisible to this president. If you're a single mom trying to find affordable child care so you can go to work, well, you're invisible too. And I never thought I would see that our soldiers who serve in Iraq and Afghanistan would be treated as though they were invisible as well. Americans from all walks of life across our country may be invisible to this president, but they're not invisible to me, and they won't be invisible to the next president of the United States. I'm Hillary Clinton, and I approve this message. See, I find it ironic that she's talking about being invisible, and there are so many people who were invisible in that campaign ad. And April, hey, I understand that it may have been done, you know, in Iowa, but there are people of color in Iowa just like anywhere else. Why make a specific commercial and exclude anybody? Okay, all right, let's, let's break it down. I, I, I understand what you're saying, but let's put the reporter's cap on. And being in Washington for the last 11 years, I've seen how they target certain groups, not just the Democrats, not just the Republicans, but politicians, how they try to reach that certain group. Now, if you remember this commercial, the Iowa campaign ad for Hillary Clinton, there's one Latino child in that commercial. Now, what happens is, Art, here in Washington... Shown for about two seconds, by the way. Okay, but she was there. Uh -huh. But <laughs> what happens here in Washington, when there's a certain type of event, if there's a Medicare event, who are you going to get? Are you going to get 13-year-olds or 20-year-olds? You're no, going to get... Well, that's different. Uh, wait a minute. No, that's no, no, no. No, that's no listen, listen. They're targeting their audience. And in Iowa... Are we to Iowa, believe that there are no people of color in Iowa? And so let let's not put this. them in this commercial? Art, Art, listen to me. I'm just telling you. I, I hear you. I'm, we're sharing some love. But let me tell you, this is how the politicians think. That doesn't make it right. I hear you, but listen to me. What would happen if, okay, New York State is the great American melting pot, and you have everyone from all walks of life in New York. How would the Iowans take it if Mrs. Clinton had an ad, or Barack Obama, or, or, or Mitt Romney, or anyone, any, any presidential candidate, had an ad with all sorts of Americans, how would the Iowans how take it? How would the it? Iowans take it if they showed someone black, or someone Latino, or someone Hispanic in the commercial? All right, I think me, they take Art, it just fine. All right, I did some research, as I do, on every topic that we talk about. I did some research, and this is from the Radio Iowa News Service. May 17th, this year, 2007, it says, the census shows Iowa still one of the whitest states. Okay, this is the proof. That may be. Right. Wait, let me read it to you. Not exclusive, though. Listen to me. Updated U.S. census data indicates Iowa's population remains among the whitest and the oldest of any state in this country. Now, if you also listen, listen to the music. The music that was played, it was not like a hip hop song. No. It was something that was middle America quilting music, as I but, call but it. But April again. Okay, the April. coordinator of the state of Iowa's data center says the number of minorities in Iowa is growing. I'm not saying anything for Hillary. I'm just saying 
And it's not for it's for any I, candidate. They're you all of targeting give, their audience. I give and you it, all of that, April. But the, 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 it's so ironic that the commercial is entitled "Invisible," but and, the and people I'm glad that she you said chose that. to make invisible uh, in me, this campaign. I understand the message me was trying points. to say I'm reaching out to everybody. Yes, but, but if you're going to say that. Then put the deeds to the action. But wait a minute. Let me let me let me give you two points. One, also back to the state of Iowa, the Hispanic Latino population is growing the fastest of all the race groups in Iowa. And you saw one Latino child. But okay, what you still have, Iowa is still predominantly white. Yeah, well, so Ava, that you know is what? why I hear you. But wait a minute. Now let's go to yeah. the invisible comment. Yeah, Mrs. Clinton. We just uh, had Mrs. Clinton. I just had an interview with Mrs. Clinton two weeks ago, and she used that same invisible comment for African Americans. You can take and that in the, invisible did she do and a put commercial it in different. That, you can talk about Hispanics. That just you had African Americans in it because I'd be just as equally offended. If she okay, let me let me say this: that commercial, that Iowa commercial, would not work in the state of New York. That Iowa commercial would not work here in Washington D.C. They're targeting each group, and what's the problem is, I think they targeted for Iowa and the advent of the internet, but we're looking at YouTube that's and we're right. seeing it. And that's the problem. And it's it going to be seen Iowa, everywhere. And now it's, it's viewed by everyone. Don't so you understand, though, I April, understand what the, you're saying. That, that, that the perception is what we're dealing with here. And her heart may have been in the right place. I don't know anything about that. All I'm saying is that what I look at you know, I only see, and, and particularly in this day and time when there is so much emphasis placed on including all of America in what we do, and that's what she's campaigning on. I'm glad I you just said don't that. see the need to make a specific commercial for just one race of people, but Art, be they black, say this. white, or green or yellow. Look at the Republican ads. Do you see a lot of African Americans and Latinos? You might see more that's Latinos. Why they're, that's why there are not Republican, so many African Americans who follow the Republican Party. But you might see a lot more Latinos. Latinos in Republican ads than you do African Americans because as a whole they vote mostly Republicans. Black as a whole, vote mostly Democratic. So they're going for their base. That's what they're trying to reach out. And I'm not right. saying it's right or wrong, but I'm trying to okay. explain okay. the mindset All of right. the politicians. Well, and, and I think you did. Well, you know what? I, I want to put it right back to where we started. That's back to the viewers, because I want your thoughts on this. And hey, look, We're you know, April it. and I disagree on stuff all the time. That's why I love her so much. But let me tell you this. Weigh in and let me know what you think about this, about Hillary's campaign. You know, the fact that it did not include any people of color in it. Uh, uh, log on to CN8.TV, click on the icon for Art Fennell Reports, and let us know. In April, I will pass on the results uh, on a future broadcast. Thank you, April, and uh, we'll obviously...